Welcome to the fifth video in the Unit 12 playlist of our Chemistry Matters series. In this video, we'll provide a quick recap of the content covered in Unit 5, Chemical Reactions. And in our Unit 5 toolkit, you can find a document listing all of the Georgia science standards addressed in this unit. In Unit 5, we observed the primary signs of a chemical change, color change, gas production, production of heat, and the formation of a precipitate. Our students also conducted experiments to verify the law of conservation of matter, which states that matter cannot be created or destroyed, only changed from one form to another. We used physical models to demonstrate how chemical reactions occur. We also used balanced chemical equations to demonstrate both the reactants and products of chemical reactions using both coefficients and subscripts. We learned to identify the patterns seen in different types of chemical reactions. Synthesis reactions, decomposition reactions, single displacement reactions, double displacement reactions, also called replacement reactions, and combustion reactions. In our lab, our students conducted investigations to help us learn how to predict the products of a single displacement reaction using an activity series. And there's a closer look video in Unit 5 that explains exactly how to predict and name the products of any chemical reaction. In Unit 5, we also learned a very useful skill how to draw particle models to represent balanced equations. Finally, we conducted a performance task using qualitative analysis, conducting chemical tests such as solubility and reactions with acids to confirm the identity of chemical compounds. To help summarize this content and confirm our understanding of why chemical reactions are important, we invited Dr. Mike Patel to explain how acid rain is related to chemical reactions. That was a really interesting conversation with Dr. Patel, but Unit 5 also had a second guest interview as we invited Dr. Eileen Kennedy, a pharmacologist at the University of Georgia's College of Pharmacy, to explain how scientists use chemical reactions to synthesize new medications. Remember, our Unit 5 toolkit has a document on which you can see the list of Georgia science standards addressed in Unit 5. And that also includes an activity that explains how to predict the products of a reaction and name the products following IUPAC guidelines, addressing another of our Georgia science standards. And when you're done investigating those resources, I hope you'll join us for the next video on the Unit 12 playlist our recap of Unit 6, Stoichiometry.